Hello students, now I am going to discuss the most important sum in the Green's theorem. The problem is verify Green's theorem in the plane integral over c 3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy dy. Where well, c is the boundary of the region defined by y equal to root x and y equal to x square. So y equal to root x means on squaring on both sides y square equal to x. The parabola symmetrical about x axis. So look at this figure. So that is y square equal to x, parabola symmetrical about x axis and passing through origin. And another curve is y equal to x square. So it is look like x square equal to 4 a y. So it is also parabola symmetrical about y axis passing through origin. Now the point of intersections of the two curves which are obtained by solving the equations. So these two equations are solved. Just we have to put y value in second equation we will get two intersection points those are 0 0 and 1 1 so these are the intersection points so it is a rough sketch of the region with two parabolas combined region is this one now we have to compute both the left hand side and right hand side of the green's theorem statement that is line integral and surface integral so to evaluate the closed line integral we have to compute two line integrals that is along c1 and along c2 so to compute along the c1 we have the curve is x square equal to y this can be written as y equal to x square now differentiating on both sides dy is 2x dx now right hand side order is x so we have to take x limits x varies as 0 to 1 so with these limits the line integral can be calculated easily just replacing y as x square and dy as 2x dx so it is a line integral value along c1 along c2 we have y square equal to x this can be written as x equal to y square differentiating on both sides we will get dx as a 2 by dy so y limits are 1 to 0 so these limits can be taken to second line integral 1 to 0 and x is replaced with y square and dx is replaced with 2 by dy so similarly another line integral c2 can be evaluated easily don't forget along the c2 the direction is important y varies as 1 to 0 not 0 to 1 so always we have to travel in positive direction so c should be traveling positive direction that means anti-clockwise direction so these are the line integral values the sum indicates the closed line integral now we have to compute right hand side of the green serum so to compute this one we need the two partial derivatives which are obtained by differentiating partially with respect to x and with respect to y where p and q are obtained by just comparing with integral p dx plus q dy now to take the limits we have to draw a strip which is generally drawn parallel to y axis in this closed region the strip lower part touches to the curve x square equal to y here y value is x square so lower for limit of the y is x square upper part of the strip touches to the curve 2 that that is y square equal to x here y equal to root x it is the upper limit of y thus y limits are obtained y limits are in terms of x y varies as x square to root x now x limits should be constant clearly here x varies as 0 to 1 with these limits, the double integral can be easily evaluated first with respect to y and then x because always we have to give the preference for variable limits. First, we have to integrate with respect to y and then with respect to x. So, 10 is constant. Y integration is y square by 2. 2 ones and 2 fives get cancelled. 5 y square. Substituting upper limit and then lower limit. Now, we have to integrate with respect to x along the limits of 0 to 1 substituting upper limit 1 and then lower limit 0 so we'll get the value as 3 by 2 since the left hand side of the green theorem is a 3 by 2 and the right hand side of the green theorem is also 3 by 2 so clearly both values are same so hence the green theorem is clearly verified thank you